Have you ever stopped to think how intelligent, creative, and skillful animals can be when it comes to construction? After all, there are many animals on our planet who, with just a few basic resources and their creativity, are able to create incredibly extraordinary works. And it is with this in mind that we have put together a list of some of the best and most surprising works and structures built by these animals to present in today's video. 20 Fantastic Constructions Made by Animals in Nature Weaver Ants Famous for their distinctive building style, weaver ants are a remarkable genus of ants that stand out for their unique nest building skills using silk and leaves. These fantastic architects can be found mainly in tropical regions of Asia, Africa, and Oceania, and build their nests in trees by sewing living leaves together with the help of their larvae. These larvae produce silk, which the adult ants use as glue, sticking the edges of the leaves together and creating compartments inside the nest. The nests resulting from this work are light but extremely resistant structures, protecting the colony against predators and adverse weather conditions. And the most interesting thing of all is that because these ants produce their nests in tree leaves and not on the forest floor like most other ant species, this significantly reduces the risk of attacks by terrestrial animals. Bioweaver the bioweaver is a fascinating bird, famous for its extraordinary nest-building skills. Found mainly in South and Southeast Asia, these birds build their nests using long strips of grasses, palm leaves, and other plant fibers, which they skillfully weave together to form a pouch-like structure. The nest is usually suspended on the end of a tree branch, often over water, to protect it from predators, and the entrance to the nest faces downwards, which helps prevent intruders and rainwater from entering. The process of building this nest is incredibly meticulous and involves several several stages. First, the male collects the materials and begins to weave the basic structure of the nest, working tirelessly, often for several weeks, to ensure that the nest is sturdy and comfortable. And the reason why the male is so careful and dedicated in the process of building this nest involves a very simple reason. It will serve to impress the females, so that if any female approves of the nest, she accepts the male as her partner, and then the couple continues to improve the nest together. These nests of the Baya Weaver are not only functional, but also aesthetically pleasing, with an interesting and eye-catching shape that makes them one of the most impressive constructions not only among birds but also among all of nature's building animals. Diving Bell Spider now we're going to talk about an animal that is quite feared and causes dread in many people, a species of spider. But in this case here, even if you're someone who doesn't like or is afraid of spiders, it's worth giving it a go to learn about the incredible abilities of this species. Popularly known as the diving bell spider, this species of spider is a fascinating example of adaptation to the aquatic environment and lives underwater, building underwater shelters known as diving bells. To build its diving bell, the diving bell spider creates an air bubble between its hydrophobic hairs, which accompanies it below the surface of the water. There, it uses its silk to build a shelter, using this air bubble that remains attached to the underwater plants, creating a place very similar to the home of the character Sandy from the SpongeBob SquarePants cartoon. This shelter serves as both a resting area and a hunting ground, allowing the spider to breathe and protect itself from predators. So it is able to remain submerged for prolonged periods of time, and usually only briefly surfaces when it needs to replenish its oxygen supply. Sociable Weaver now let's talk about another bird that stands out for its unique building skills, but in this case produces a much larger structure. Popularly known as the sociable weaver, this fascinating bird, found mainly in the arid and semi-arid regions of southern Africa, is famous for building one of the largest and most complex nests in the animal kingdom. These collective nests are built with twigs, grasses, and other plant materials, creating veritable condominiums that can house dozens or even hundreds of individuals. And unlike many birds that build their nests individually, the sociable weaver works in groups, demonstrating an incredible capacity for cooperation. The result of this joint effort is a massive structure, usually positioned on sturdy trees or even power poles, and these nests have several external entrances that lead to individual or communal chambers, protected from predators and adverse weather conditions. But anyone who thinks that the engineering of these constructions is only impressive because of their size is mistaken, as they also stand out for their functionality, with the outside of the nest usually formed by a defensive barrier made up of thorns or dense layers that discourage predators such as snakes. And inside, these chambers are well insulated thermally, so that during the scorching desert days, they can remain cool, while on cold nights, they can provide a warm shelter for the birds. Beavers 
very popular and well-known today, beavers are incredibly talented natural engineers, famous for their extraordinary dam-building skills. These rodents are found mainly in North America and Europe, and use branches, logs, mud, and stones to build their structures, which serve to create artificial ponds that offer protection from predators and provide a suitable habitat for their survival. The construction of the dams by beavers begins by felling nearby trees using their sharp teeth. They then drag the trunks and branches to the desired location and start piling them up, filling in the gaps with mud and stones to create a solid barrier, which prevents the water from passing through, thus raising its level and creating a stable pond where they build their burrows. These beaver burrows are equally impressive and serve as a safe haven for the colonies, offering protection from predators and adverse weather conditions, where the beavers sleep and care for their young. And if nowadays beavers are seen as animals that symbolize construction and the carrying out of great works, it's not for nothing. After after all, in some cases, these animals can raise the level of their projects and create structures so large and majestic that they are even capable of significantly influencing and transforming entire ecosystems, often positively, and resulting in the formation of unique landscapes and ecosystems, but in many cases also generating problems and negative impacts, which means that these structures end up needing to be removed, most of the time manually, but in many cases also with the use of machines such as excavators due to their large size. Leafcutter B you probably know or at least have heard about the famous leafcutter ants, which spend most of their time collecting leaves from plants for their survival, don't you? But would you believe it if we told you that there are bees that also carry out this leafcutting process in nature? Popularly known as leafcutter bees, these small insects carry out a process similar to that of the famous leafcutter ants. But unlike ants, these bees don't use leaves to feed on, but rather to make their nests. These bees are solitary and are characterized by cutting out small pieces of leaves or petals to build their nests and may nest in existing wooden cavities or dig burrows in the ground. Once they have chosen the hole that will serve as the nest site, these bees cover it with these pieces of leaves that they have cut out. Each of these individual chambers will house an egg and a mixture of pollen and nectar that will serve as food for the larvae as they develop. And after all this, the leafcutter bees then close the entrance to these places, guaranteeing the safety and protection of the larvae during their initial stage of development. Just fantastic, isn't it? European honeybee. And if the bees we've just shown you are an example of how incredible and fascinating the works and constructions made by insects in nature can be, it's no different with honeybees. Perhaps many people don't find the work these animals do interesting, because they are used to seeing their image around quite often. But we still have to admit that the structures made by these small insects are truly amazing. Most likely, the most famous species that comes to mind when talking about honeybees is the European honeybee. And just like other species, they build structures that serve as their home, called hives. These hives are made up of perfectly hexagonal wax combs, which serve as nurseries for the larvae, honey, and pollen stores, and circulation spaces for the colony. The hexagonal shape of the cells is not only beautiful, but also incredibly functional, as this geometry maximizes the use of space and wax, allowing the bees to store as much food as possible with the minimum amount of material and space required. This efficient design, the result of millions of years of evolution, is so perfect that even engineers are studying its structure to optimize materials. Indian harvester ants found mainly in arid and semi-arid regions of Asia, Indian harvester ants are known for their great capacity for organization and division of labor, and can be considered true specialists in collecting and storing seeds, contributing to the local ecology. These ants build underground nests with several chambers that are used to store seeds, care for the larvae and house the queen, and the architecture of these nests is quite impressive, with the entrance having a very curious appearance when viewed from above, very reminiscent of a labyrinth with concentric walls that prevent rainwater from entering the nest, and and it is also believed that the entrance made in this way has a protective function against predators, making it difficult for them to enter the anthill. Caddisflies now let's talk about insects again, and in this case they build real works of art that are used for their protection. We're talking about the larvae of caddisflies, tiny insects that in most cases are only 25 millimeters long, making them probably the smallest artisans in the world. These aquatic insects secrete a sticky silk from their mouths and use it to build a hard shell from materials available in their habitat, including leaves, stones, shells, and sticks, creating a kind of armor that protects them from predators. Knowing this information, a French artist called Hubert Duprat 
had the ingenious idea of taking some of these larvae and putting them in a box containing small pieces of gold, rubies, diamonds, turquoise, and other precious stones. And the result was these fascinating works of art created by these animals with a curiously good aesthetic taste. Really incredible, isn't it? Common Taylor Bird now let's talk about a bird with the ability to sew. That's right, you didn't hear wrong. We're talking about the common tailor bird, a bird well known throughout the world for its fantastic and unique ability to sew its nest. This process begins with the female of the species choosing the ideal location and the right leaves to use for sewing. After that, it begins its sewing process using plant fibers or spider webs as thread to join the edges of the leaves and its beak as a needle to pierce the leaves and cross the lines between them. Once the sewing is done, they fill the inside of the the nest with feathers and plant material to prepare it for laying the eggs, which are incubated by both parents. Trapdoor Spiders yeah, apparently spiders don't lag behind birds, ants, or bees when it comes to building. Because now it's time to talk about the spiders popularly known as trapdoor spiders, which make very interesting and ingenious constructions in the ground. They dig a vertical gallery about 20 to 30 centimeters deep and line the walls with silk, then weave a circular lid with silk and leaves, which fits perfectly into the gallery opening. This construction made by the trapdoor spiders serves as a trap so that they can capture their prey, and so they remain hidden inside this burrow, waiting for some insect or other small animal Animal to step on the silk threads that are spread around the lid, and when this happens, they feel the vibration and quickly come out to attack. It's certainly an ingenious and fantastic hunting method, right? Compass Termite the compass termite is a species of termite endemic to Australia that stands out for its impressive constructions. These termites are capable of erecting vertical slab-shaped nests, which can reach up to 4 meters in height, and are oriented in a north-south direction, as if they were compasses guided by the Earth's magnetic field, hence the inspiration for the name compass termite. This shape and orientation allows for efficient thermal regulation. During the hottest hours of the day, only a thin side of the nest is exposed to the intense sun, reducing internal overheating and ensuring habitable conditions for the colony. While at night, and in the early hours of the morning, when the outside temperature is milder, the termites can move around more freely inside the nest without suffering from excessive heat. This is very curious and raises a number of questions among them. How do these termites know which way to build? In fact, there is evidence that somehow the Earth's magnetic field does guide the termites in building their nest, but how they perceive this magnetic field is still a mystery. Rufus Hornero We've already talked about birds that build very beautiful nests and others that build very large nests, and now we're going to talk about a bird that stands out for building a very sturdy nest, the Rufus Hornero. This bird, which can be found in various regions of South America, is famous for building sturdy, well-structured nests using mud, and the structure of the nest they build consists of a solid base and thick walls made using a mixture of mud with plant fibers, grass, hairs, and other additional materials that help give the nest greater strength. This fantastic nest can take several weeks to complete, and during this time, the couple work tirelessly, transporting small amounts of mud and shaping them with their beaks and feet, the result of which is a durable and very resistant nest that can withstand even harsh climates such as rain and strong winds and still remain intact. Wasps and if bees, as we've already shown, can be defined as truly skilled architects, we couldn't fail to mention wasps as well, which, despite often being considered the evil relatives of bees, are not left behind when it comes to building, being known for their complex social organization and impressive nest construction. Wasp nests can vary significantly in size, shape, and location, depending on the species, with some species building modest nests with just a few dozen individuals, while others can form gigantic colonies, containing thousands of wasps in structures that reach more than a meter in diameter. Diameter. And although most of these nests are built in predictable places, such as tree branches, roof edges, and cavities in the ground, some wasps end up choosing quite unusual places to build their nests, such as in household furniture or even in abandoned vehicles, which means that these nests often end up needing to be removed. Yeah, as you can see in this recording here, in most cases the removal is done with the use of a fumigator, since smoke reduces the aggressiveness of bees and wasps as it interrupts the chemical signals they use to communicate with the rest of their colony. However, in some cases these nests are simply too big to be affected by targeted smoke, and so there is no alternative but to face the challenge without any ace in the hole. scary, isn't it? These wasps are attacking with such force that you can just hear them banging furiously against the camera. 
I don't know about you, but I think I've just unlocked a new kind of fear here to add to my collection. Ants Raft it has certainly been proven that ants are some of the best builders in the entire animal kingdom. No one can disagree with that. But have you ever stopped to think about how these insects survive in flood situations? Well, the solution lies in ant rafts, simply one of the most impressive and ingenious adaptations in the entire animal kingdom. During periods of heavy rain and flooding, some species of ants, such as fire ants, join their bodies together using their mandibles and legs to create a floating platform that can include thousands of individuals, known as ant rafts. By intertwining their paws and mandibles, they form a kind of net that prevents them from sinking, functioning almost like a boat that repels water. And if individually ants already have a reasonable hydrophobic capacity, repelling water and often being able to float, this capacity becomes even greater when they join together, thus allowing this raft to float. The queen ants, larvae and pupae, are usually kept in the center of the raft, where they are more protected from water and predators, while the worker ants form the base of the structure, supporting the weight and maintaining balance, usually alternating their positions over time, ensuring that none are tired or submerged for long periods. Bald Eagle Popularly known for being a symbol of the United States, bald eagles are another species of bird known for building large nests. With its extremely sharp eyesight, which can detect prey at great distances, and its powerful talons, the bald eagle is a bird of prey that occupies the top of the food chain and feeds mainly on fish, but can also hunt other animals and make use of carcasses when necessary. When it comes to building nests, the pair of bald eagles choose the site together and usually build them in high places, such as mountains or tall trees, using sticks and twigs for the outside and leaves and other soft materials for the inside. These nests can be reused year after year, constantly being enlarged by the breeding pair, and as more branches and layers are added, this nest can reach majestic and impressive sizes that offer enough space for the female to lay her eggs, incubate them, and look after the young safely. Pufferfish now, leaving the terrestrial environment to one side and heading down to the bottom of the sea, we can also find incredible works of art built by pufferfish, true artists of nature, who show incredible intelligence and creativity in every detail. This is because some species of Japanese pufferfish have the fantastic ability to build these incredible works of art on the seabed, using their mouths and fins to dig holes, form geometric patterns, and even decorate their work with shells and stones. Male pufferfish spend several days creating these geometric shapes with sediment, creating radially aligned ridges and valleys, with the aim of using these constructions to impress and attract females, who lay their eggs in the central zone of the formation after mating with the male. Leaf Rolling Weevils Popularly known as leaf-rolling weevils, these small animals are part of a family of insects made up of more than 2,000 species that have the habit of rolling up the leaves of various plants. This behavior is mainly carried out by the females, who make incisions in the leaves to lay their eggs and then roll up the whole leaf, or just part of it, forming a structure that resembles a small cigar. With this, the larvae feed on the curled leaf until they complete their development. However, although it's an interesting process to watch, and the end result of this work is truly admirable, some of these species are are currently considered agricultural pests, as they can cause damage to the leaves or fruit of various plants. Sponge flies. Popularly known as sponge flies, these insects spend a large part of their lives in the larval stage, and it is during this period that they build incredible structures, appearing to be nature's true 3D printers. This is because they weave a small cocoon for pupation, basically consisting of an outer net and a tough inner covering. These larvae are able to produce a type of silk in their salivary glands, and it is with this that they build these structures, in a very interesting process to observe. Cape Penduline Tit. And finally, we're going to talk about the Cape Penduline Tit, a species of African bird that has a very interesting strategy for building its nest, the main purpose of which is to protect its eggs and chicks. These wise animals build a globular nest made of spider webs and silk fibers from various plants, and this nest has two strategic openings. In this way, the nests of these birds have a real opening, hidden for the entrance of the parent birds, and another false opening that looks like the real opening, but actually leads snakes and other predators into a blind chamber. But what do you think? What was the most surprising and fantastic animal construction on this list? Let us know in the comments which one impressed you the most, and if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next videos we'll be bringing here. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.